Jesus said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Uh, those words come to mind as uh, tomorrow is the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War in Europe, VE Day. Uh, some of the older members of our community and church remember that day as a day when suddenly there was a sense of relief. Uh, the war was still going on for a few more months in Japan, but it really heralded uh, the start of something different, something better, the outbreaking of peace. Uh, this part of London uh, had suffered, uh, as so much of the nation had. Uh, even our church building, you can see, was damaged by uh, war action. And we can imagine the church congregation, the church family, looking at the church and seeking to rebuild after uh, that damage, when suddenly peace broke out and there was a chance for a new start. You'll know, of course, that outside of the church we have a war memorial. It's actually a war memorial uh, for the First World War. But the words which go round uh, underneath the cross uh, are the words of Jesus. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. And uh, that's what we proclaim to the nation. There's something wonderful and symbolic about the cross and the hope of resurrection standing there uh, facing the main road, facing the tube station. Our message is still uh, to the world around us that uh, God is ready uh, to bring a new start. Resurrection, even death itself, is not the end. Uh, we know that we shall come through this time of lockdown. There will be uh, a new start. Initially, maybe for some time, things will be different. But nevertheless, the God who was our help in ages past is our hope for years to come. And our prayer is that God would make his church a community of peacemakers, people who uh, bring reconciliation, bring hope, bring a new start. And Epi's going to lead us in singing uh, that prayer that God would enable us, wherever we are, in our homes, in our workplaces, in our community, to be channels of his peace. Where the sun